kind of compose itself. I do. Yeah. Hang on, is this still recording? Yes. <laughs> do we know it's still recording? Yes. Okay. Are you talking about the camera? Talk, yeah. to, talk to Tony over there. <laughs> we need a Tony. Go ahead, you start it off. You start it off the top. Let's turn it off. Uh, I'll start it off there. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? This is I've Seen That Movie 2. Uh, <laughs> my name is Mark. This is Zach. I'll start. All it's, right. it's been a while. <laughs> it's it's been mind. a while. It's been a minute. Sorry. Without further ado, this is I've Seen That Movie 2. My name is Mark. My name is Zach. And I'm Kenan. And so we're here to talk today about uh, two different movies. Uh, we're going to talk about what men want versus what women want. And yes, we did actually sit through and watch both of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, it was a struggle. <laughs> wait, so why do you say it was a struggle? Um, well, which one we start? Are we starting with the what women want? The Taraji P. one? No, that's what men want. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, we've been doing this all we, we day. We really My have. Bad. <laughs> My bad. See, when, when you take two movie titles and then you just switch out two nouns, right? And it gets confusing. Right, right. And I've been saying the time. wrong name constantly. Um, but we can start off with the Mel Gibson one, which is what women want. Um, this which is weird because it's the man who has the power in that one. Right. And right, then true. the other one, the, with the men in the title. It's the woman who has. Well, what makes that weird, though? Because because it's one of those things where you you think that you hear like it's just you hear the title "What Women Want," you think the woman is the star of the film, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. actually Mel Gibson who's, who's the, star the star of the film, and yeah. then you hear "What Men Want," you think, oh, it's about, but then it's not, and then it's like it when there's two movies that are so similar. Like, right, right. I remember when "What Women" came out in what like 2001, 2002. Uh -huh. It's like instantly back when like the internet was first getting started with like YouTube and stuff like that. I've saw what men want so many times because everyone made that parody video. Yeah, like yeah, right yeah, after yeah, it came yeah, out, right. everybody had like the like five minute comedy version right, with right. men. And now almost twenty years later, they made it a real movie. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. Um, well, I guess we can start off with the one that everybody doesn't seem to be too pleased with. <laughs> what the uh, what men want then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. What it? So what do you want to start with first? Because I know that like you and I, oh, Mark and I saw. That movie in theaters, I think Zach, you saw it I saw it, it in well. theaters too, but I saw it on a different day than right. you guys. Yeah, yeah. So, and, oh no, go ahead. No, I was going to say, um, Kenton was so-so in this movie. I kind of liked it. Uh, my reasons are a little bit different. I think it was dope to see a movie to reflect me, obviously. Um, but also, what I didn't really appreciate about this movie is the biggest thing was that the story felt rushed through. It doesn't feel like we had time to really like sit on anything. and. I didn't really feel as though we were invested. You in know the what it felt like? What? It felt like what women want. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, right, right, right. Like, <laughs> right, right. these movies are so similar, not just in, like, the, the concept of being able to hear what the opposite sex thinks, but both our main characters work at an advertising agency. That's true. They are like the big well, dog. No, no. Well, well, it's a sports. It's a it's her is related. like a sports agency thing, but it's kind of the same thing same where you're thing. representing yeah. someone as you're a marketer basically. Whether right. you're in marketing or you're an agent, your job is still to market yeah, somebody. Yeah. So yeah, they yeah. both work in pretty much the same kind the of field. work. Yeah, yeah. They're both that like really, you know. They think of themselves as the hot stuff around the office. They think they're yeah. up for a big promotion, and then right. all of a sudden, uh oh, yeah, somebody right, else right, is right, getting right. it, no. and that makes them go crazy. And then they get both the same lectures like, you just don't understand what women want, or right. you just don't understand how men think. And then freaky voodoo stuff happens yeah, right. in both yeah. of them, and suddenly they wake up. It's the same movie. Right. <laughs> no, it right, is. Right, when right. you stop and think it's about it, like beat movie. for beat, they are the same movie because, right. like, and obviously, spoilers. We're we're going to talk about spoilers for the movie. But yeah, both yeah, spoilers of them. for yeah, all, yeah. For um, all our reviews. So make sure you watch this before you watch us. Okay. Go ahead, Kevin. Or just watch us and don't go watch the movies. That's so. a fact too. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, because like so so it starts off with like them in their normal lives, like they're trying to be good at their business, like Mel Gibson's character, and I don't even remember the characters' names at all. I want to say his name was like. Gibson. His name okay. was Jack or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, I could be like way Jack off on that. Right. This could tells you how off. much we care about, yeah, right? <laughs> about this movie. But but no, it's like um, they're both at their jobs. They're both really good at their jobs. Right. Um, the only difference is that like 
and and what Mel Gibson's character um, is obviously getting the recognition that he thinks he deserves to a certain degree. Right. Um, well, but, she she's not in a slouch either. Like she's still on she's still like the high. No, and she stuff. she is. But the movie, the what men want, they made a point of like feminine power and stuff right. like that feminine empowerment the yeah. only reason she wasn't getting the, her position like she didn't become a partner is because another guy got it well yeah yeah because basically the owner or the current partner only want men it was a men's club right right um kind of thing and uh, and i mean like that obviously does happen but at the same time like it didn't integrate well into the story yeah, I right, feel. right right i thought it was a very weird moral message if you're gonna go like the female empowerment thing but then to have like the sp- the, the the heartfelt speech in there was like I just really didn't take what men had to think serious. Right, 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 right. And I, just felt I like, still think especially women in like it. especially in like but especially in like the climate that we live in nowadays yeah. to have to hear a woman be like, you know, I just never listened to men enough. I was sitting <laughs> right. there in the theater like oh. and I did notice because I wanted to make sure both this both movies were co written by one woman and one man. For each movie, so yeah. it wasn't like you know. What was what? Well, well, I thought when I looked it up, "What Men Want" was written by a guy. I thought or was adapted from the original "What Women Want." I think, um, but like I thought, I saw one of the writers for "What Men Want" was like named Tina something, which maybe I thought was like a woman. I mean, like name. I looked into it. I didn't look <laughs> that much into it. You know, I just wanted I just wanted to see because it felt kind of cringe in some places, and I was like, yeah. I hope this wasn't written by all dudes. Right, 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 right. right. That'd be a bad move. Trying to trying to market it like that. Yeah. The speaking, funniest, well, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, but the funniest yeah. scene was kind of like what you were talking about. How when she was finding out that she wasn't getting a promotion that whole oh, time she yeah. thought she was, and ball. then he right she throws the football and then she intercepts it. I'm like, that's not <laughs> you didn't get it, sweetheart. You didn't. That's yeah. what I thought in my mind, but. Outside of that, it kind of just went back to the character development for me. I think we kind of talked about that as we saw it, kind of like, just, well, yeah. you know, not being invested. I mean, you felt the same way? Or? Oh, no, absolutely. Because that, I mean, like, that's one of the big things. And you knew, like, you knew I was out of that movie, too, yeah. or more than one. <laughs> yes, I did. Because I was picking out, like, all the Nin flaws. Picking. And I was, <laughs> from the beginning, I was going to pick He was looking at the editor, and he was like, did, did this jump cut happen? Dude, no, that, but that's seriously a thing that did happen. And, like, don't get me wrong, like, it also happened in What Women Want as well. But it was right. literally, like, a point where, um, in What Men Want, they, they were jumping between the two scenes where they would do shot, reverse shot, shot, reverse shot yeah. kind of thing where right. two characters were talking. And um, it was it was like – it was noticeable stuff. Like it was really noticeable stuff. Like one character would be pointing in one scene. Right. And then when they jump to the reverse shot, like his hands are down. Like, right. You know, and it was <laughs> – but it was supposed to be a continuation. It was supposed to be a flow. Right. And so I'm just like – did they really put a lot of effort into this movie? Because it doesn't feel like they put a lot of effort into right. what men want. Right. Um, right. Way more effort Wait, went which into. One did you say? Well, what? The Mel Gibson one or the. No, the, um, the other one. The you can see now why we've been having this problem. <laughs> see, when you change one word in a movie and then make another movie where the only difference is a word, yeah. this kind of yeah. thing happens. Yeah, yeah. I keep fucking it up. Sorry. It's okay. No, it's okay. I'm talking about the, um, the one in theaters right now, What Men Want. Because I just feel like that, like, nobody really cared enough about it, you know what I mean? To make yeah. sure that it was good. Right, right. The story was just written out where it was like, this is what needs to happen versus, like, oh, maybe we should, like... Kind of like it was just checking boxes. Yeah, it, literally, What Men Want, it was just checking boxes. And, I, I mean, like, it's probably easy for me to tear this movie down, too, because it obviously wasn't marketed towards me. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't marketed towards my demographic. Right, right, right. Both movies... I feel like we're really more for women and couples. Right. Um, right. Like you said it yourself earlier, where it's like the perfect movie to take, um, uh, like your your date. girlfriend to or date right. on, things like that. Mm. But um, I don't know. Like of the two, I much prefer what women want. Me like too. it's a romantic comedy. It's cheesy right. and, and stuff like that. But right. I much prefer that one because they actually do give you a chance. They give the characters a chance to interact, and right. you feel like you get more from that. And so, like the ending is more deserved. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. At the end versus the ending in what men want, it doesn't feel deserved at all. Right, and they just didn't. I don't feel like they explored her powers enough. I mean, they had like a oh, scene yeah. where they she was showing what her powers could do, but mm-hmm. it, like even that kind of felt a little bit rushed because there was this a part on the scene where uh, a, a whole crowd came. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then when it happened, and uh, what women want. 
it felt like he really explored his powers, not just for his job, but also in his personal life as well. And but she, you know, she kind of did a little bit of that in What Men Want, like when, in the bedroom scene, oh, where yeah, 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 she was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. you knew exactly what I wanted. Right, right, right. So, yeah. like, so she did mm-hmm. use a little bit of that. I forgot about that. I will say that one thing I kind of did like about What Men Want was the fact that because it was rated R, yeah. they at least weren't held back to like the PG thirteen standards right. of like yeah, when you would hear true. inside. Because because I was I was wondering if it was going to be one of those things where it's like, you know that they're going to show you the censored version of, this. of what yeah. a guy's thoughts were. He like you'd be like, I am a man and I know <laughs> that what he's thinking is probably true. not <laughs> that. But then. Yeah. And they didn't go completely crazy with it, but there right. were a few things where they're like, you know, yeah, I would think, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, I would see that. So at least they didn't hamper themselves too much in that department. Absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, still, so, still on the topic of powers, though, like they tried to use. They, really, it was just there as like I don't want to say a MacGuffin, but like they're both. Not, well, well, they are both MacGuffins, but like. With, with the powers in that movie, it was just used to further along the plot with right. what men want because it was like, she's like, oh, man, like, I really want to get this big account. Like, how do I like do get this kid to sign on? And then yeah. the kid has the thought of, like, exactly how to do that. Right. So as an audience member, you're like, this is it's just Too spoon easy. feeding me the information yeah, yeah, yeah. versus, like, what women want. It was like um, he... He would use that to his advantage. Like they wouldn't flat out tell you, but right. you could pick it up as an audience member. So, like, it. Well, they did both in the same movie. It's just what women no. want was a little bit more so. Because, like you said, with the coffee scene, she use, is using that to her advantage as to portray herself as this is the agent who's really got it going on. This yeah. is who I want to be with. It was just a lot more subtly done in right. what women want as opposed to what well want. yeah and maybe that's why i liked it because it was subtle you right. know and so it gave me a chance to at least be like aha like i had that moment of like connecting the dots right, right. even though you know like I, I don't know where i'm going with that sentence so. <laughs> no you good I, th- I think I, I can pick it up but yeah. um there was a lot you, more like subplots in what women want to there was yeah, 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 i felt yeah, like it was funny too because you it had, was like, funny it was you yeah. had the subplot with the daughter Right. His relationship with the daughter. He had a subplot oh, yeah, with yeah. like the woman at the coffee shop that he was. Yeah, yeah. And then with. at the end, she was, he had to tell her that he uh, he turned gay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she assumed that he was gay. Oh, true. He just true. let it ride. Right, right. Yeah. He was chasing the. And then you also had like the main plot, where it's like the romance plus his job. Those yeah. those two things were kind of intertwined right. with each other. Right, right. And it was it felt effortless. It felt like they were intertwined effortlessly. Does that make sense? Yes. Am I wrong? No. Exactly. <laughs> he like, just stop looking no, no, at him. No, like, yeah, oh, shit. yeah, that makes sense. Um, but um, Kenny was saying uh, how it just relished in the awkwardness too. It um, really did because when when they had those moments of like character interactions, um, you they really like played. They they had a chance to really have the characters have like the awkwardness, and then rather than move away from the awkwardness, they just kind of like really like oh man this will be really funny this will be really good right um I mean the other thing to note I feel like is like even though you said Zach mm-hmm. that both teams had female writers on it the writer for what women want the head writer was a woman versus mm-hmm. what men want the head writer was a man yeah, I think and yeah, i don't yeah, yeah. i, I kind of feel like that has a little bit to do with it you know what i mean right, right. but i, I don't i don't know 100 percent. i mean like what do you guys feel about that i think that would have a lot to do with it um just because like perspective you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i don't feel like you can really write about what a man wants without you know having a man in the room and vice versa you know what i mean like i feel mm-hmm. like you yeah, I think I wouldn't be surprised if it was a legally, not maybe legal, but like a strong requirement to have one member of the opposite sex on each writing staff Yeah. for yeah, it. Yeah. Um, I don't know that for a fact, but I would assume that that was probably an executive choice right. just to make sure. Especially if people get angry. They're yeah, just right, like, who right. was like, yeah. well, we had a woman. Woman right it, right. Long, but so I feel like what are you should, complaining about? Right. Yeah, I feel like they should do that with everything, not just gender, but like with race and sexuality too. You know what I mean? But I guess that's yeah. like a whole other topic for a different yeah. day. Well, you can't have a, a million writers on every project. Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Or at least just have somebody sit in the room. Well, let me ask you this, Mark. ideas go out. Would you want... <laughs> Like a white guy on like the writing staff of like a show like Atlanta no. or something like that. So no. so it doesn't work all the way around. No, <laughs> <laughs> because you don't know how I. I know you exactly. Know I mean? right. yeah. That's a fact. That's a, I see your point. I see your point. Um, but you were saying something, Kenny. Watch. 
I f- completely forgot. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> well, well, I mean, we were just talking about like the character interactions. Well, um, well, if you want to talk about the characters, you want to talk about like the main character from each movie sure. and like what you like about. So, um, what men like had what men want. What men like <laughs> had um how do you pronounce her name? Taraji P. Henson. Taraji P. Henson. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she had a lot of charisma. Yeah, 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 yeah. She did. She captured me. She just, and I, I think what I really like about her is I just always grew up watching her. You know what I mean? Like even in my adolescence, I remember watching like Baby Boy and stuff like that. So she's mm-hmm. always been somewhat a part of my life. You know what I mean? And like you said, she just has a charisma. Like she's just, and I mean, I'm obviously she's she's amazing. Like you know what I mean? Like we can't just skip over that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, but for me, well, no, she's that. she's been in a lot of stuff too. Cause. Yeah. Um, she was in Diary of a Mad Black Woman. She's obviously right. the most she, probably she's famous done a name lot so of Tyler, far. Tyler Perry stuff. Like I think she yeah. was in his movie. Um, what was it? Acrimony. Yep. Yeah, she was yeah, in yeah. that. A thousand percent. A thousand Never percent. saw yeah. it, but at least I, knew I didn't watch that one either. I'm ashamed to say, <laughs> but uh, it's all good. Uh, but with with Mel's uh, character, I just not as much as charisma, but I just thought he was funnier in certain situations. Just like with the. With the scene where um, they're having sex, him and the girl, him and the lady, and at first, like, she's like, he lied about the grande, you know? It's like little shit yeah, like yeah. that that I'm like, it made it funny his reaction to it, like nothing he really said. Mel Gibson's always had a talent for playing crazy well, like, yeah, funny crazy well. Oh, I think because you, <laughs> you know, because I was gonna say he might be a little crazy. Like, yeah, 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 Okay, so wait, what was the original question then? Uh, we were talking about main characters. characters. Yeah, main like, characters. what was the main biggest characters. differences that you saw in Taraji P. Henson's character and then Mel Gibson's character? Gotcha, okay. I, I don't know if I saw a difference between them, if I really stop and think about it, because they were kind of the same character. Yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. They were both selfish. That's they were true. both um, out to get whatever they wanted. Right. It really was the same character. It was just like in a woman's body. Yeah, or like mm-hmm. the different, like point. the different lens. Like it's the mm-hmm. same type of character, but one is seen through the eyes of like a middle-aged white man, and the other was through like a black lady. <laughs> you, see, <laughs> yeah. you see how basically the same character interacts, but with slightly different circumstances around who they are. Yeah. Well, you're right. You're a thousand percent right. Yeah, but I do like the idea that at least they. Well, no, they gave a reason for both, like why both characters acted that way. Because, like, in What Women Want, it was um, Mel Gibson's character was grown up around, around a bunch of showgirls. Right. Um, yeah. Versus in What Men Want, it ter- is it Taraji? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Her. Cool. I, you know, I had to take that. <laughs> I, 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 I was, was like, I don't want to mess this up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, how Taraji's character. She grew up in basically a boxing ring. Like her, her yeah. father, I guess, was a coach. Yeah, That's never yeah. really explained that much. And then, like, her father kind of like, there yeah, wasn't really wasn't much it. reason for him to be right, in the story right, other right. than a way f- to show that, oh, she's tough, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just don't like, I really just don't like how, when, when you come to the thoughts, I mean, that's what it comes back to for me, which is the whole point of the movie. Which is the whole, like, what separates the two movies from other movies is yeah. the fact that they can hear other people's thoughts. And it's, it's the subtlety thing. Like, for me, it comes back to the subtlety always because with what women want, at least they were subtle about all the interactions. They were subtle about, so, like, it was up to you whether you could pick up on it or not versus right. what men want. It was literally like that scene where she was reading the guy's mind. It was, it was like they were having a dinner date with her dad. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, he's a nice guy because he's not looking at, like me in a physical way he's like oh i really like this girl like i'm falling for but they just blatantly tell you and then you, as an audience member it just goes back into that spoon feeding like well, they're spoon feeding like you the information they, they and not being subtle about it sim- to build sympathy for his character later on when he realizes that he was being used right. to yeah. further her career like yeah, you wanted yeah, the audience yeah. to have sympathy for him because he like because you know that he legitimately likes her right. so that makes him feel and it was a real hurt. thing and that's another thing about that movie that I really didn't get like the way she went about just like telling the people like oh this is my husband I feel like it could have been done just a little bit better I'll, yeah. a little bit smoother I'll be I didn't believe completely it. honest with you after that first scene where she runs out and she thinks that he's married and stuff like that I honestly didn't think we'd see those characters again I thought that like because I didn't really see the trailers yeah yeah Yeah. outside of a few snippets to know that oh this is pretty much doing the the version of what women want it's like I didn't expect him or the kid to come back after that point right I thought that was just like a thing that was like it was like 
a side plot or right. a side plot hole that was going to be done with. And um, not to get too off basis here, but I, I, what I remember about the Mel Gibson um, version is after a while, you're really just looking at the story because you know you remember when he stopped kind of using the mind reading thing and he didn't all the way lose his powers yet. I know he got electrocuted again and ended up losing them, but like mm-hmm. before that. Like it kind of felt like the story was just going on, and you stopped hearing oh, the thoughts for a little. Are while. you ready to talk about the camera work? Because I do want to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, no, no. Finish your thought, because you're. No, that you're... was it. That was it. That's all I. Had. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, because like the camera work, I feel like in what women want was so much better. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because they did take those opportunities, like that scene you're talking about, where it's they give like the false, um, like you think you think his powers went away right but then he goes so he goes to like bloomingdale's i don't even know what store it was but he goes to like uh um like uh the women's section of a, a department store yeah. and um he can't hear anything and then all of a sudden like everybody comes in and he starts hearing the shots right, right so you right. have that one shot where it slowly it goes up yeah yeah, 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 yeah it's right favorite. above him it goes up and as it's going up more women are coming into the scene yeah. showing that like it's too much for him. Right, right. Like physically showing that versus they tried to do a similar scene in what men want when she first got the power. Because I don't, did they do the false um, or the fake going away of the powers in no. what men uh, in, in no. What no, men no, 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 no. It was just straight. It just went back to the yeah, lady. It was just straight streets. through. It was, yeah. it was just straight through. There was no like twist and turns. Right, right, right. Um, but no, they had a similar scene where when she first got the powers and she just walked out her door and it's just so bland. Right. You know what I mean? Because she's just walking outside. Like, not even in, like, a place that, like, only men would frequent. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Like, it was, she was just outside and it just I happened like it to just be. She, just, she just went to sports, to dick Sporting Goods. Yeah. I mean, like, that would have been so much better, though. Right, or something. Like, you know. Yeah, I get what kid is saying. Or, like, so go to, like, an creativity. arcade where there's a bunch of nerds. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, but then you'd all get the exact same thought over and over. Right, 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 right. All about video games. Yeah. And when you get a gaucher, I don't like, know about that. <laughs> like, look, look at there he is. There you go. I said, whatever. Whatever. Ken is just upset because in what men want, they didn't have any dogs talking about they needed to poop. <laughs> that dude, that was actually pretty funny though. Come on, like and the script was making fun of itself, but it became so self-aware of itself where it was like, hey, this is kind of a ridiculous thing. Like, you know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. do you really like hear this dog like say it needed to poop it's just because woman. it's a female it's a dog? Female. Right. Yeah, you know? <laughs> the power is he can hear what women think. Yeah. Yeah, and it never specifies whether it's a human woman or no, animal. and it never. But but that's the thing. That's what I again. It's another thing that I like about it where it was like it felt open ended yeah. versus like what men wants because of the way the script was written because we kind of talked about that and i have no way of making this sound good go ahead. you know exactly what i'm about to say go ahead. but <laughs> let it go no i know i just have to let it go there was like there was like an age limit you know what i mean on mm-hmm. well because it was what men want so you couldn't hear what Teenagers. Oh, right, right, right. Boys yeah, 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 yeah. You well, know, or something was, like what, that. What was he, like 17 or But you couldn't hear his thoughts. Yeah, you were always like, oh, I want is a cup of coffee. And she's like, even if it's just a cup of coffee. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not talking about that kid. Oh, you mean the, the little kid. Player. Yeah, the little, little, little kid. kid. Yeah, he was like six or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But, you could, but she couldn't hear his thoughts, though. No, they, she couldn't hear his never, thoughts at all. They never made it a point. Like, they never, there was never a scene where she read his thoughts. But I don't know if. Yeah, what was the point of having the little kid in the story? I mean, like, I know it was supposed to, like, complicate things, yeah. but, like, they didn't use that little kid to his... What, that yeah. sounds really weird. To, uh, <laughs> to, I don't know if I want to, to finish that sentence. fulfillment. <laughs> yes, that's, there you go. that's probably a little bit better. Kenan but demands more child abuse. Oh, oh, don't, don't, don't say that. Please don't, don't say that. Oh, no. <sighs> we just had to give Kenan a hard time. But, no, I get what you're saying. Bro. <laughs> yeah, but, but it was like that, that kid was there, written into the story to fulfill one purpose. He's just a one-note character. Yeah. They all feel like... Like one note characters they don't feel right. developed that's at true. all that's true you know what i mean that's true. And, and i know it sounds like we're gushing about like what women want or at least i know that's what it sounds like to me yeah yeah but i i know eventually we want to talk about it at one point whether we'd recommend watching either movie right that's a perfect segue a perfect so. segue into it. so you want to go ahead and talk about it then? yeah yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to um do a section where we it's called recommendations so what i'm going to say is i'm gonna let you know exactly which movie i think you should go see over the other one and then I feel like y'all can do that too. Y'all cool with that? Yeah, yeah I'm cool with All that. Right, cool. So for me, um, it's really more based on what you like more. Like so if if it's if you're a story person like my guy Zach here, he's more into the story of everything. I would go ahead and check out uh, the Mel Gibson one, what women want. Alright, cool. I can literally right in my face and I'm still getting it wrong. That shows you 
shows you a lot. Anyway, um, but if you are, it's, if it's more of a date type of thing, like with your ladies, a Saturday night, you know, um, or if you like me, if you have the same, you know, lifestyle as me, and you, you know, African American, you just want to see something that reflects you. Check out uh, what men want. <laughs> what men want. But you really had to flip the page. I on definitely that one. had to flip the page. I definitely had to flip the page. But Zach, like, what's your recommendations? Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of these kind of movies, so I would personally recommend neither. Like if you oh, have man. to actually go out and look for them. But I'm I'm gonna go with the lines of pretty much in line with what. Mark said, like, if, you know, you need a couple's movie night, something like that, I honestly think either of these would be fine. That's you should just put on and just be like, because, you know, you watch a date night movie, you're not watching it for the movie. You're right, just watching right, it for the experience time. of spending time with somebody That's else. True. So That's I, I think that both of these fill that space relatively, relatively fine. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if I would agree with that. I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm picky when it comes to movies. Like, right, I'll right. watch anything, but, like, I'll tear it apart afterwards. You know me, man. But would you go see this with your girl, though? Or nah? Um, I mean, I would. If she wanted to go see it, like, i go see either one. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Or or whoever I was dating at the time. If they wanted to go see it, like, I'd be down to go see it. Yeah, yeah. Of the two, like, they're both romantic comedies. I just feel like what women want did it better. Um, yeah. Between the I two... Agree. And what's interesting, too, is that what women want, it doesn't show its age. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it yeah, still yeah. feels kind of relevant, even though, like, I it's don't It's kind does, of timeless. Like, you can I, well, I don't know time about timeless, time. but, yeah, but yeah. Um, like, you wouldn't think. It, <laughs> right. could, it could be a movie that was made today. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? They wouldn't have to change anything other than maybe add in, like, cell phones or something like that. Right, right. But, anyways, that's my opinion. I would say, if you like romantic comedies of the two, watch What Women Want. Um, I think that's the better. I think it did it better of the two. All right. So that's pretty much it for us. Unless y'all got something else, y'all got something else. No. Do we feel like we talked about everything? I think we got everything else. I'm trying to read your mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't think there's much going on up there. It's not much going on right now. No, 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 no. Let's no, no. tell you what is in there all the time. Let's not. We'll save that for later. <laughs> we'll save that for later. It was good seeing y'all. And uh, I've seen this movie too. Mark? Yeah. Um, don't forget to, if you like the video, don't forget to give us a like. Uh, yeah. Give us a subscribe. Hit the uh, bell at the bottom. Yeah, for sure. You get notifications. Yeah. Uh, I've seen that movie too. We'll have new movies, new episodes coming out. Monthly for right now. Monthly. We're trying to get more. But right now, monthly is good. Is we comfortable yeah. saying that? Yeah, monthly. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. And that's it. Yeah. You got anything to say? You out? I'm good. All right. We out.